everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some simple styling tips to elevate an outfit. I have three tips and around 15 examples, so I hope this video will bring you some inspiration. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to hit the like button down below, and also let me know if there was any particular tip that you really want to try in your own outfit. Starting with tip number one, I want to talk about intentionally mixing colour with neutral outfits. And I feel like there are colour lovers and then there are neutral lovers, but my personal favourite is when these two worlds kind of come together and mixing really intentional pops of colour with pretty simple outfits. My very first example is adding colourful statement jewellery to some of your more simple looks. And I feel like I've been into minimal jewellery for such a long time, but I came across these earrings and I just fell in love with the colour of them and I've loved styling it with some of my more everyday pieces. The outfit that I'm wearing right now is a pretty basic look for me. It's something that I reach for all the time. And I feel like these earrings added to this look really elevates it and makes it look a lot more special because you do have such a bold and beautiful color statement in the jewelry. On those slightly fancier days when you still want to be comfortable and wear your basics, you can kind of just add an earring or add a ring, bracelet, and really quickly change that look from something more everyday to something that feels a little bit more elevated. I personally love to add colour in my jewellery and my accessories because I find it to be one of the most versatile ways of adding colour to my wardrobe. I can match these earrings with so many different basics and with so many different outfits compared to if I was to add colour in a dress or in a top it feels a bit more limiting that way, whereas jewellery is just so easy to match with a number of different outfits. In my second example, I style a pair of earrings that are a little bit less statement than the ones I'm wearing. They have a green emerald-like stone to them, and I just style it with a white blouse, which is something I wear all the time, tucked into a pair of paper bag shorts, which I also have been wearing a lot. A very simple outfit, but these earrings just add a little bit more detail to the look. These earrings are also from Kendra Scott, I was just taking a browse through the website and saw they had a few pieces on sale and thought I'd give them a try. And both of these earrings I've really been enjoying styling into some of my outfits. My second tip is very quick and easy. It's just about using lipstick to bring some colour to your looks. I always have a My Lips Are Better shade that I reach for most of the time. Something that is a little bit darker and more vibrant than my natural lip shade, which for me is Stone Rose by Charlotte Tilbury. And then I also have a more vibrant bright shade when I'm wearing something quite simple and boring and I really want to um, liven things up a little bit. This is from Clio and it's their Melting Sheer Lipstick in number 8. If you wear a lot of neutral tones, this can be a quick and easy way to change up your look. In my next two examples, I want to show how I add intentional pops of colour through my clothing. This is my little shorts from Cezanne and it's in a really vibrant green. So you'll see in the cutaways that I style it with a black cami to keep things super simple and then just a straw bag. I feel like this type of styling makes for a really great summer outfit and it's just a little bit more interesting, a bit more unique because of the pop of colour in the look. At the same time, I don't feel like the outfit is too crazy because we are styling it with pretty simple pieces other than this pop of colour in the shorts. The shorts are also in a really classic style, which I think helps make it feel a little bit more wearable. There's also a lot of ways that I could have styled these shorts. I feel like it'll go with my white tops, my black tops. It'll go with any kind of neutral, basically. I've worn it with stripes and I actually really like the way it looked. So with these more classic silhouettes, I feel like there's still a lot of ways you can style it and still have a look very wearable in some of your outfits. Another great example of that is this really vibrant blue jacket from Cezanne. I wear this jacket all the time and I really love the vibrancy of this blue colour. With the outfit I styled it with, it's very pretty and it's very simple. It's just a black cami top and then a midi skirt. I feel like without the jacket, it's a very nice outfit and there's nothing wrong with it at all. I would wear this outfit any day. But at the same time, I feel like it's not that unique or special. Whereas when I put this jacket on, I suddenly feel like the outfit is a lot more elevated. Um, it has a lot more style compared to before. I know personally, I wear a lot of midi skirt outfits and sometimes, you know, it's all the same. Whereas adding this jacket just brings a little bit more of a twist to the look. My most worn type of outfit is something very neutral and then I just have one item that is in a really vibrant pop of colour. That is probably my go-to kind of look. I love colour and I feel like it's such a waste to ignore them when it comes to styling. My very last example is adding colour with a silk scarf. I really like this option because there are so many things you can do with it. 
You can tie it around the neck, you can wear it as a belt, you can tie it around the bag. And that's just a few of the ways. There are so many hacks I've seen on TikTok and on Instagram of things you can do with a silk scarf. A very, very versatile item. In the cutaways, you can see that the scarf can really change up a look a few different ways. You can wear it by itself as a singular pop of color. You can kind of wear it with a slightly bolder earring as well, where we're mixing print and there's a lot of color and the outfit becomes a bit more eclectic or bohemian looking. And you can also wear it in a more classic way, tied around a leather bag. And it just all depends on how you want to style it. This is another very versatile accessory that I really like using to add color to my outfits. In my second styling tip that I think is essential in elevating an outfit, is to add texture. And this is actually a styling tip that I hear all the time when it comes to interiors. In fashion, I always see layering and like details, but it's a little bit different. And today I wanted to really talk about texture and the different types of texture that you can add to your outfit. I feel like in the winter time, because you've got so many wool pieces and heavier items, there is just a lot of texture going on and that's why winter outfits tend to be a bit more stylish. In the summertime, I feel like I really need to pay attention to texture more because we're not doing that much layering compared to the other seasons. So in the summertime, my favorite way of adding texture is adding a couple of straw accessories to my looks. So whether that's through a straw hat or a straw bag, I feel like this gives so much texture to whatever look you're wearing. So in my example, I'm wearing a waffle t-shirt which already has a little bit of texture in the top and I tuck it into a pair of cream trousers. Combined with this bag, which also has the leather straps, I feel like this makes for a very interesting look, despite all the pieces being pretty simple and classic. I feel like if I think about this outfit in comparison to some of my past outfits, where I wore lots of really smooth um, pieces that didn't have that much texture, I feel like this outfit is a lot more interesting and it's just a really simple way to bring a little bit of interest to very minimal looks. In my next example, I want to talk about linen, which never has a perfectly pressed look to it. It's always got a bit of a wrinkle, a little bit of a lived in kind of look to it, which I think is great when it comes to adding texture to summer looks. My example is a linen shirt, which you can very easily wear as a bit of a jacket over whatever you're wearing that day. And then you can also tie it up into a bit of a cropped shirt, which also looks super cute. Combined to the rest of the outfit and the rest of the pieces, I feel like it really gives a very nice texture to the look. Talking about this linen shirt brings me to my next point, which is styling silk and viscose pieces alongside linen. And because these are kind of opposite materials in the way they look, viscose and silk both drape really well, they're very kind of smooth fabrics. Compared to linen, I feel like there's such a beautiful contrast between these two materials. This is something that I've really enjoyed doing lately and I think it makes for a very beautiful look. So in my example, you'll see the same linen shirt thrown over the silk skirt and I feel like that's a cute outfit I have actually worn a few times before. In my second example, I'm also wearing a linen shirt with a viscose skirt. The linen top also has a shirt detailing to it, which just adds even more texture to this outfit. This outfit is something that I've worn before and I really liked and I wanted to show it again in this video to show you the textures that are going on in this look. In my fourth example, I wanna talk about leather and the texture that it gives outfits. So I'm wearing this really girly dress from Faithful the Brand, and it's very pretty, it's a floral dress, and I really like wearing the Chloe test bag with it. So the Chloe test bag has a really thick leather strap and worn crossbody, I feel like it adds a really interesting look to the more flowy kind of floral fabric. And at the same time, a quick mention is that the bag also has lots of hardware, so just giving even more texture to the look. This is definitely something that most of us do anyway because a lot of bags are made from leather or vegan leather. With this particular outfit, I really like that thicker strap that goes across the dress. For me, it just adds so much detail to a more summery kind of outfit, and I love this combination. In my last example, I'm talking about knitwear and especially knitwear for the summertime. I have a few lighter knitwear pieces in my wardrobe that are from Cezanne, and it has a very cool kind of knit pattern to it, which I feel like makes it super appropriate for the summertime. So specifically, I'm wearing a white cardigan, which has this kind of knit to it, and I've started with a pair of khaki trousers, which are a lot more rigid, in comparison. This type of knit adds so much texture to a look and I really love the combination of the more feminine airy knit with the more stiff and masculine trousers. 
I think they kind of look really beautiful worn together because they are just such opposites um, when it comes to design. So in this example, as well as in the last example actually, you'll see that we're not only just adding more texture to our outfit, but also playing around with opposite textures. And I feel like they can create such a visual difference to an outfit. And I really love doing this when I'm putting my outfits together. My third and last styling tip to elevate any look is to have a couple of unique wardrobe pieces that you can mix in with your basics. Sometimes I feel like what happens with my basic outfits is that it has no kind of personal touch to it. And I feel like this is one of the biggest mistakes that I make where the outfit just feels very lacking in my own personal style. There's nothing that is particularly me about it. It's just kind of basic. So my way around this is to have a couple of items, whether it's everyday items or more statement items, that I can bring into my outfits and just inject more personal style into the looks. I wanted to point out that there's definitely a difference between these unique pieces I'm talking about and trendy items. So I feel like they all have a place in our wardrobe, but in this particular category, it's the items that feel really true to your personal style, despite the trends. So these are the items where even if everyone else hates it and it's not on trend, it's not trendy at all, you'll still have it because you personally like it and it really suits your own personal style. My first example is the scarf again, and I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I spoke about it earlier. This is a print and color combination that I really like. Whenever I'm wearing a really boring outfit, as long as I add this scarf to it, I never feel like the look is boring because this color for me is just so beautiful and I find the pattern really striking as well. My second example is this Sandro tweed jacket and it's such a statement piece in my wardrobe. It's probably the most statement item I have in my wardrobe because not only has it got the tweed, but it's also got the denim detailing and then some chunky silver buttons. It's 100% a statement piece and I exclusively wear this with my more basic outfits. If I'm wearing a super basic outfit that day and I wanna elevate it, this is a super easy way to do it because I know that this jacket is just so cool to me and I absolutely love it for my style. I do feel like this piece is a little bit more special to me because I did get it online secondhand and I wasn't sure if I was going to love it. So it kind of was a huge surprise when I loved it as much as I did on receiving it. I feel like pieces like this that are super statement and something that other people might not love but you do is really special and can be used to elevate some simple looks to make it your own. I definitely feel like statement pieces have a place in my wardrobe and I really love combining these more statement pieces with pieces I wear every day and I feel like it can make these pieces a lot more wearable than the way it looks just on the hanger. For the next outfit idea, I use these trousers from A Piece Apart and these are another secondhand find where I was absolutely thrilled because I think they were retailing for something crazy like $600 and I think I got it for about $60 which I was really happy about for a pair of silk pants. This is also a pattern and print that is very vibrant, very loud but I also think that it's so pretty and I love it with my more simple pieces. I say that with all of these statement pieces because truthfully I would always pair them with really toned down minimal items because they are so loud to begin with. In my outfit, I style it with a simple white Cezanne cardigan and I feel like it makes this print a lot more wearable. It's actually quite similar to my normal combinations where I go for a midi skirt and a white top. Um, this is kind of just in a cardigan and culotte form. In my very last clothing example, I want to talk about this though when blouse and specifically about this kind of silhouette. So it has a very voluminous silhouette. It's got big sleeves, so big balloon sleeves and just a lot of volume through the body as well. The style of blouse I'm really drawn to and I can go very basic with a white version, but I also do love the printed floral versions such as this one. This is another one of those items I've had in my wardrobe for a couple of years now, but I've always managed to style it in with whatever basics I'm wearing. But I want to wear something that day that is very my style, but I also don't want to go for something too plain. Um, I always love to reach for this option and then just some simple trousers or jeans. And my very last item that I think is a bit more unique to my style is actually this little ring that I wear most days. This is a vintage ring I found on Etsy and I believe it's actually from the Victorian era with the three opals. But I just think that it's so pretty. It's a little bit different from gemstone rings you can buy today. And I absolutely love wearing it just kind of layered with some of my more dainty bands. This is something very simple and dainty so I like to wear it most days. But I also have this um, love for slightly more vintage looking things. 
So this is just a little bit of a nod to that without going overboard. Those are all of my styling tips and ideas for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and like this video and also let me know which one of these ideas you would like to try for your outfits. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.